no, 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 drivers, we don't have to take it this far. So this woman says the Uber driver damaged her home and car after a one-star rating. So what? You get a one-star, let it go. You know, the other part, damaging the house and the car is going to end you up, you know, with charges, uh, lawyers' fees. I mean, don't go that route. Just all of this nonsense over like just one star. It's absolutely not worth it. So, I mean, here, here, for example, listen to two reasons. Um, these, these are not the reasons from the people that had the house or car damage, but these are, re these are pretty legitimate reasons why um, people sometimes give a one star. Trying to make it to the mall and um, I was trying to get there within a certain time frame and he had decided to take the longer way to the mall. I picked up some. So, so sometimes uh, we're just following the navigation, right? Just to want to explain to this gentleman, we're following the navigation. We're not trying to run up your bill. Uh, sometimes there's roads that are blocked off. Look at, you know, any big event in Vegas. We got to take the long route. Sure, you want to take the shortest route A to B, but it often doesn't play out that way. So in that case, if, it, if it's a legitimate reason, sure, I understand the one star, but you, you got to look at the entire picture here before you rate one star. From this house and they left something um, and I knew that it wasn't something that was a belonging of anybody in this house. Somebody should have a right to a review. You know, it's opinion based. Like if you have a one star. Every, everyone should have a right to review, both drivers and riders. So a Chicago woman says she was shaken up after a violent encounter with an Uber driver at her home. The woman says the Uber driver was upset because he received a one star rating from her 17 year old son. Here we go. Here we go. Why are you accepting Uber teen? Right? Why are you driving Uber teen? They're not acting like adults. They don't know the it's retaliation. I'll get back at you. Right. The teen called an Uber to drive him to a mall last Friday. You are setting yourself up for this disaster. But, but now the driver wants to retaliate. So he goes back there, destroys the home, destroys the car, and now is in, 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 in big shit, right? He said the driver seemed agitated and was driving erratically. The next day, the driver showed up at the woman's home. She refused to open the door and the driver complained about the one-star rating. Let it go. He then allegedly took a brick and threw the house threw it at the house and at the car. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. You're better than this. Anger management classes. A window was broken and the brick left scratches and dents in the woman's car. Uh, this is someone that's going to get deactivated. Don't, don't come to Gig Rocket or Activation Hero and ask us to fight for your reactivation. That one is an absolute no-no. You deserve the deactivation. Uber says... The driver's conduct was unacceptable and the company is investigating. Police are also looking into what happened. So, I mean, you, you, you're facing some troubles here, dude. It's not worth it. So, one star rating, it happens. And we, we, the problem is here. We take it too personal, right? We take it too personal. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let that one star rating go. Not worth it. Ladies and gentlemen, share your stories.